Mark, what are we doing? Well, we are about to go film with some bats in the bats. desert. Yep. Have you ever uh, worked with bats before? Uh, I have not worked with bats, and I really don't know what to expect. They don't have rabies, do they? Some species do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I know it's not nice to wish ill upon somebody, but Coyote is such a confident person that sometimes I get a little bit of enjoyment out of seeing him, uh, you know, have a little bit of discomfort. And I see all these little tiny, what look like chocolate sprinkles, but those are not chocolate sprinkles, are they? No, no, that's bat guano. Yeah, bat guano yeah. is bat poop. Like getting pooped in the eye by a bat. I think one just pooped in my eye. I think Cody probably deserved it. He got a little poop in his eye. Uh, he got a little too close to the line of fire um, underneath the bats. Definitely just got pooped down in my eye. It stings <laughs> a little bit. I won't lie. Well, here, here's the thing. They've been sleeping in here all day long, hanging upside down. You can't really go to the bathroom. No, and I guess that's Once probably... they wake up and they turn around, guess what they want to do? You know, I get pooped on by every single animal I come across. This one got me right in the eye, so that's a little different. Bat guano happens, and it happened to Coyote. All right, tell me about those bats. Well, there were a ton of bats. Wow, look at those. I mean, there must be like 300 bats in the air. They were going all over the place. It was like being in a haunted house. I love bats, so I was really excited to go do this episode anyway. And then when you first heard them, hundreds of bats all just sort of squeak, squeak, squeaking. It was oh, really come cool. On. You what? Can give a I've got nothing. Than squeak, squeak, squeak. What do they what sound like? What are they like? doing? Um, are they going chip, 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 chip? Is that, that's too, that's, that's like too bird. chick like. Yeah, it's a little higher pitch than that, I think. Oh, that's exactly what they sounded like. I was starting to get the impression that we might not be getting a scene tonight because Coyote just could not seem to catch a bat. Oh, oh, missed him. Wild man Phil got his bat on the first try. You got one. Wow. Coyote had like 15 or 20 attempts before he finally got one. I have worked hard to catch some things in my life. Catching bats ain't easy. Whew, I'm sweating. I get pooped on. Man, you got one on the first try. I'm like whew, 10 bats in and I don't have one yet. They were a little smaller than I thought, but boy, when Phil stretched out their wings, it was amazing to see just how large the wings were. Um, and so that was really cool. And I didn't know they had such long tails. Uh, just glad that Phil was there to provide us with all that fabulous knowledge about those bats. And uh, I think it turned out it's gonna be a great episode. Hey, let's talk about how Coyote uh, almost let a bat attack my face. He pulled it out, totally whiffed it. The bat comes flying down jumps right on my leg. Actually, I thought it was coming from my face. And Mark, one flew right onto your leg. Okay, <laughs> we'll try that again. Yeah, that was that was a little nervous for a second. I was not expecting the bat to come lunge on me. Thanks for, uh, thanks for airball on that one. Thank you. <laughs> if you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This episode of Breaking Trail was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle. 